hey guys welcome back to my channel <sighs> the morning has been pretty boring it's almost noon now um you know just made the boys some breakfast this morning went ahead and got myself ready um and asher took a little bit of an hour nap the boys are playing camera went to the gym and now i'm just kind of hanging out i'm pretty bored um so i kind of want to talk to you guys um, the boys are actually right now playing the playroom, so I have a few minutes. Um, and yeah, so basically I lost my job. Um, I was let go. Um, totally, um, it's just crazy because it's been a roller coaster ride, but I'm not going to get into much detail just because um, it's confidential. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just doing a lot of changes within the company and my position um ended up just kind of getting taken over um and i mean all in all it'll be great for the company just unfortunate for me and my position um so i'm currently now officially a stay-at-home mom um not by choice but i've been wanting to leave the job for a while now i was pretty stressed out um it's just really hard and it was really hard for me mentally to juggle my own demons as well as Working as much as I was, taking care of the kids, my house, moving, all that jazz. So I think in a way this was God closing that door for me because he knew I needed a break. Um, so for the time being, I am just going to stay home. Um, I'm taking the rest of the month off and kind of just refocusing on myself. My best friend actually comes tomorrow and I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her in like two years. We haven't seen each other in person. Um, last time she came to... Uh, was Colorado I, it was two years ago um, and she was supposed to come last year but with COVID and everything she ended up holding off on that um, and she's coming and I'm so excited I cannot wait to see her I always tell her I'm like just move to New Mexico like and she's like I won't like I would only do it like if you were gonna stay there long term which I get it we're a military family so we move pretty often but um, yeah I'm so excited to see her and I think it'll be really good for me to kind of clear my mind um, and I'm going to probably start looking for a job probably in June. Um, I'm not in a really in a rush, um, but I feel like I need to work in order to feel like, I don't know how to explain it. Cause I mean, as a stay at home mom, you do plenty, right? But working and staying at home, I feel like I'm at least contributing financially, um, which shouldn't be an issue. I mean, if you think about it, daycare, preschool, nanny, whatever, costs a lot of money and you're doing it for free on top of all the household chores. Um, and as much as like I love doing that, I just feel like I need to still bring home income. And I mean, I bring home a little bit of income through social media, but not enough to make it worth it, I guess. Um, who knows in the future, I'm starting to try to vlog more and film more, be more so present on social media. I kind of took a step back just because like I said, in my last video, um, I was kind of like mentally just not all there and I was just having a really hard time. But I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Not for the money, obviously. If I was in it for the money, um, then I would be going more ham. Oh, did I something in my face? I think I did. Uh, I would be going more ham on my videos and stuff. But I, um, I don't want me to ever come across like I'm money hungry and I'm only doing things for money because I'm not. A lot of the times I do, I turn down so many sponsorships and collabs because I just don't believe in it or I just don't like it. Um, I do a lot of um, collabs like, hey, I'll try the product. If I like it, I'll talk about it. If I don't like it, then I'm not going to talk about it type of thing because I want it to be real and I want it to be authentic. And yeah, so I'm going to see how that goes, but I think I'm going to start looking for jobs in June. But again, I'm not going to really rush it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, my biggest thing me and Kara talked about is I don't want to get into another job in another position um, and then not, not liking the job. And, you know, like if I do find a job that's in office, both my kids have to go to daycare and preschool and that's super expensive. And then also if I'm working, I'm going to be away from the house more. And I, I mean, it is what it is, but I'm not fully sure what I want to do yet, So, but I don't know yet. I just know I still kind of want to be home with my kids. So that's like the biggest thing is to try to find another remote job. Um, a lot of things are starting to open back up where they want their workers to work in office. Um, so I guess we'll see. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. It's in God's hand. I just know that door closed and I want to touch on it because I think I'm going to be pretty much a stay-at-home mom. So 
since I'm home now, I'm going to be trying to put more content out while I can just because I have the free time, so why not? Um, and I've noticed my kids have been a lot happier since I've been home without working and stressing out about that stuff, which is, it's great to see their mood change because it's just, it's just nice. Um, I've been caught up with all my laundry, which never happens. My house is really clean. I'm like cooking meals more than I was just because I feel like I got to a slump and it's been great. I've been really happy. Um, I'm on my period right now, TMI, but I'm on my period right now and usually on my period, I'm like, um, I have, um, a PPMD, so it's a premenstrual, um, premenstrual something disorder, I forget. Um, and I've had this, I've been diagnosed with it for probably eight years now. Um, and around my period, usually a little bit before, during, and then slightly after, so pretty much most of the month, I get very depressed and I get very sad and anxious and I cry a lot. I'm very emotional. Um, I'm a very emotional person and I have a lot of issues, but usually around my period, right before, a couple days right before, during, and a couple days usually right after, I am a mess. Um, and I'm on my period right now and I feel fine. I'm a little emotional. I still kind of like want to cry a little bit, but that's pretty normal for me. But I'm like still so happy. I'm so motivated like to clean and cook and everything. And usually that's not really me. And also, not sure if this is related, but if you don't know, I've also suffered migraines for the longest time, like probably again, eight years. And I haven't had a migraine in a couple days. And I usually get probably four to five migraines a week. Yes, a week. And they never been able to like, figure out why or anything like that. And I know stress-induced migraines are very common. And usually I notice when I am very stressed out or when I am working, Monday through Friday, I used to get really bad migraines, Monday through Friday. And so it's been really nice. I haven't had a migraine in probably a good five days, and it's amazing. It feels great. I feel refreshed. Um, I've been really not drinking a lot of coffee or, like, soda, which I usually was drinking kind of like one can a day to every other day, like, when I would have the migraine. And I haven't had to really do that. Like, I just enjoy soda when I enjoy it. And it is. I haven't really drank soda or anything, and I just feel really good about myself right now. I'm pretty, like, in a happy place, I want to say. I'm still a little sad about like losing my job and financially like I keep thinking about it and Cameron's like really just don't worry about it like we're fine which we are fine like we're not hurting you know what I mean at least we're able to pay our bills we're able to feed our kids you know we're fine but for me I still want like that financial extra fine I, I don't know I still want that extra finances and we'll see I mean it is what it is but I just wanted to say hello let's vlog today I don't know what we're gonna be doing I am filming another video today um, I'm doing a what's for dinner, so stay tuned for that. Um, and it's going to be today's dinner. So I'm not going to show you guys today's dinner or anything like that. But I'm thinking I may be making um, this. I'll make it tomorrow for a video. I don't know. Um, but I already cleaned up everything today. I'm thinking I want to make something. I don't know if I want to make Oreo balls or something. I'm on my period, so, you know, I want something sweet. Um, my mom. I think my mom's coming over today after work. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. What are we doing today? I don't know. It's a rainy, dull, 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 rainy day today, uh, which we needed rain. Um, while I'm inside, we bought the boys um, a playhouse from Costco, and we put it together during the Mother's Day weekend, and it's the cutest thing, you guys. Like, look how cute that is. My boys are so spoiled. They have that. They have the trampoline, and we're going to get them a new water table, but we have such a small backyard. It's crazy, but... It's super nice and we love it. Um, you can't even see the mountains today. Usually you can see the mountains over there, but yeah. So we're going to, I'm gonna go ahead and charge my camera. You can't see. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my camera because my camera is pretty much dead. I'm gonna go play with the boys in the playroom for a little bit and enjoy some mommy and boys time before my little ones have to eat lunch and take a nap. Actually, is it lunchtime now? No, almost. Um, so yeah, okay, there we go. You want to know what the best thing in the world is? When you get both your kids down for a nap at the same time. Since, I want to say like Asher turned almost one, um, he's basically been kind of weary with his naps. Actually, I would say since kind of like we went to the rental house. He's been really weird with his naps. Um, he sometimes has one nap, sometimes has two naps. We finally are getting him back down so where he's taking two naps again. So he'll take a nap three hours after waking up in the morning for like an hour and then in the afternoon. And today's afternoon nap, he was tired because he only slept an hour for the morning. And he actually ended up going down at the same time as Landon. 
So, this mama is making myself a cup of coffee. Um, sorry, lighting is terrible over here. Um, but it just finished. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. I have an espresso machine, but I'm going to make an instant coffee. Um, I don't know what's going on, but lately, when I drink an espresso, I don't know what it is, but lately when I drink an espresso, I get like jittery um, and like super nauseous. I don't know if it's just like the excess caffeine or maybe I was just kind of overdoing it. I was drinking it like three a day. Um, so I kind of been stopping it a little bit. Um, so I'm just having a coffee um, and I'm just editing a YouTube video. I actually just finished doing the voiceover part of it, so I'm just editing it, and then I'm thinking I could probably get it up today, which I'm so excited. Um, and then we're vlogging today. I started actually when I was upstairs with the boys in their playroom. I have to clean their playroom because Landon ended up leaving the room because he had to go potty, so he left, and the mess is just so crazy. And then I was like, let's just go down for a nap. So I actually have to clean that room, and I will do that in a minute. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish editing while I can. I think Cameron's on his way home now. He has to go to, um, get some dog food because we are, like, low on dog food. And I don't know what it is. I have Chewy auto ship every four weeks. And apparently now I think I need to do it every three weeks because my dogs are eating so much. So, um, I think, um, he went just to go get that. He went to Albertsons because he actually starts school tomorrow for, like, the next five weeks. So he just went to Albertsons, which is our grocery store. Um, like local, it's super expensive over there, but it's nice to just get little things. Um, um, they just sell like they're they're kind of like an expensive grocery store, I feel like, but it is what it is. Um, he just went there to get like lunch meat and stuff. Um, so yeah, he's doing that. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I actually have to clean up the living room too of their toys, but. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and finish editing my video while I can. I'm kind of hungry. I don't really know what I want to eat. Um, so. Daddy's what? I'm mean. He's mean. Why? He has an attitude. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. I feel like every time I want to, I've ended a vlog so far, it's because my mom's coming over. Are you excited for school tomorrow? So excited. It's been how many years since you went to school? Was tech school like school? Six. No. Cause it was more hands on, right? Yeah. You excited for school? So excited. What are you looking at? Little corn driog. Corn corn driog. Instead of mitochondria, I think of mitochondria. What the hell? Come on, bro. Science. <laughs> oh. My mom's coming over with some ice cream. Are you excited? Yeah, fuck my stomach up. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So, yeah, like I said, my mom is coming over right now. And she's bringing some ice cream from Freddy's, some custard, frozen custard. So we're going to enjoy that. And, yeah, I guess I'll pick up the carrot tomorrow. I'm picking up Nicole. So, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.